enough fun with apples, let's go check out the system. Hey guys, it's Matthew. Been a while since I made a video, but I thought I would at least give an update with how things are going. Uh, things have been getting pretty cold outside. It's been getting, getting close to freezing during the night and probably around 10 degrees or less during the day. So uh, it's a good thing that these things are inside the greenhouse. So I've been using a lot of these peppers for uh, doing some pickled carrots, uh, pickled green beans, pickled asparagus, pickled cucumbers, which are also called pickles. And um, there's been more, more than I could need here. So I'm really, really impressed with how well things are doing. Now as far thing, as things in the black box, it's running good. I probably will, however, be going back to 12 volt. I know I've started this on 12 volt, I went to 120, and now I'm going to be going back to 12 volt again. There's a couple reasons for this. Uh, one, the AC adapter isn't 100% efficient. So I do lose energy through just converting the 12 volt to 120. The other thing is, because I'm using this car adapter, it really doesn't let me go below, say, 11.5 volts. Because it being a car adapter, you're going to want your car to start in case the adapter drains your battery. So it has that safety shutoff, where if you had something plugged in, your car battery goes below 11.5, the adapter shuts off. It doesn't work so good in this system because... I want to be able to use my deep cycle battery. I want to be able to go, go below 10 volts, 9 volts, and then throughout the day, because of the solar panel, charge that back up to 12. Now I have been experimenting with different car adapters, and uh, there's one I tried that actually resulted in me burning out the pump, because when the pump had a load on it, uh, the battery would go say below 11.5 volts the adapter would shut off now the now the pump isn't using the battery so the battery goes back up to 11.8 okay now the pump turns back on switches the voltage to below 11 and a half shuts off so it was on off on off on off and it ended up burning out the pump aside from that though everything's been running really good I'd probably upgrade the battery get another battery um, I'm happy with the solar panels themselves are enough and uh, the reservoir I might upgrade as well it's big enough but I think if I made it bigger then I could even leave it alone for longer there's nothing really new in here that I've added that you haven't seen before in previous videos and the plants are about the same as well you might notice a few more uh, peppers on there some bigger bell peppers even that have started I don't know if they'll get big enough before it's before the cold really gets in and starts affecting things but you never know okay so winter is fast approaching and I may not be moving the outside system inside instead I'll be going back to the flood table yes it is still working I just haven't been using it because I used it to start the plants and that's it um, I will probably continue to make some more videos, but with this guy instead. I know you guys don't want to wait probably five, six months before I make another update, because um, there isn't a lot I can do in the winter time. But with this thing, I should be able to get something done with it. It is in the basement, and it is going to be really cold, so I've got to figure out a way to keep it a little bit warmer down here. Uh, I also want to be talking about this fancy space age technology. Mylar, and we'll look at that and how that's used um, for our purposes. And that's about it for now. I think that's all I'm going to be doing. Uh, you should hear from me again, possibly a month. I leave September 14th to go back to work again in Brazil, so there won't be any more updates for a while. Uh, and that's about it. Thanks again, everyone who subscribed, everyone who leaves the comments. I'm hoping to be able to answer you guys' questions. I've been getting a few of those, so maybe I'll make a video about uh, Q&A and answer stuff best as I can, but we'll see. Just keep on watching, and thanks for your support.